in my dream my traditional marriage i have to throw the pound wine on the floor because they say don't give it to your husband when i was dancing when i was looking for my husband an elderly woman came to me to me she said throw the wine you don't give it to your husband and then when I, when I was getting close to my husband i wanted to drink it everyone now shouting no immediately i just it's not if I want to drink it though. I just want to do it as if I drank it. Mm. Immediately I just pour the wine on the floor. Hi guys! What's up? It's your beautiful Mama B and B and you're welcome back to today's video and you're welcome back to Editorial and Emmy's family. Okay, so in today's video I have a guest here and her name is Lillian Adane's family <laughs> yeah and today we are actually collaborating okay so we're actually talking about some juicy stuff so grab your popcorn grab Sit it down. whatever is healthy like a juice of course a juice not a soda a juice sit tight Compose and listen heavily. to this juicy very juicy very juicy <laughs> video <laughs> okay guys so of course before you continue you can as well go to her channel to check out her own version of this collaboration we actually talked about something very very interesting and also i'm gonna be dropping that video somewhere around for you guys to see see okay either on my community or at the description or at the comment section anyway just check around you're gonna see it and you know go to go over to a channel to check that out uh, trust me you are going to I mean you're gonna be happy you did because it's actually a very you're gonna be happy with what you are going to be seeing yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's actually a very interesting video okay yeah. so having said all of that we are gonna be talking about things that happens in wedding okay yeah. if you are actually a married woman and you've you've had a successful relationship a successful marriage have your children oh my goodness i'm happy for you let's say thank you abba father thank say, you thank god thank you the creator of heaven okay. and earth you know there are a lot of things that happens in our weddings okay yeah. like if you're single keep your ear down glue to this video down. okay so that you could at least learn something okay mm -hmm. so that when you want to actually you know go forward into doing your marriage traditional marriage you'll wedding careful. you'll be more careful so let me leave the time for Lillian to actually <laughs> talk and introduce herself too. Okay, hi, Editorial and Emmy families. <laughs> okay, my name is Lillian and I'm from Lillian Adani's family. So, this, uh, this is an important topic. So, if you're not yet married, it's an advantage for you to learn. Okay? And if you're married, obviously your daughter is going to marry tomorrow. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just have to, you know, keep your ears down, pick your popcorn, pick your drinks, and sit down and watch and listen. Okay, so you grab one or two things. Okay, so if you are not, if you have not grabbed me, make sure you check me out. Make sure you subscribe if you love what you're seeing. Of course, you okay. do. You would, you would definitely love it. Yeah. And yeah, she's a mom of one, and I'm, I'm a mama of, of two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting more four babies. <laughs> That's how we give birth in Nigeria. <laughs> Plenty. Plenty. In dozens. In dozens. <laughs> so we are not ending in two. <laughs> so um this topic was actually um brought up by her and um we are using it for collaboration because we think a lot of people is gonna is going to learn a lot from this topic okay exactly. so yes 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 it's not just for collaboration purposes but for us to learn because i'm learning you are learning make sure you drop on the comment section what you understand give us your own experience yeah your own what experience you've what you've seen or what okay you've, what you've seen personally like personally. or what you've seen in pictures in or in pictures videos or, or in, in people's experience yes. okay also okay all right let's go into it let me up on the floor yeah now there's a particular video i actually watch you know where um a couple were dancing on their wedding day and you know um there's a particular woman you know you know she was actually at the back of this couple dancing of course they always disguise like they are actually happy with you 
you know some of those people that come to do all of those things might be their auntie sister close relation, relations, relations yeah. or yeah. or friends okay or yeah, neighbors but trust me there's no person who does not know you any person any person who does not know you cannot come and harm you because they don't know you but you need always people send people to do it for them. yeah they say uh, that's that's the thing now they'll send somebody to do it for them but it's still around that person that knows, that knows you, you. Yeah. you get you know okay let me continue my my you know my my conversation yeah okay guys so um this woman was actually dancing at the back of this couple at the back of the lady more especially you know and she was dancing she was doing like this you know before you know it she put her hand in her waist like she was tying wrapper you know she put her hand in her waist and then she brought out something i don't know what that is because it was not very it, the the video was not zoomed into that what it was you know and then she carried that thing and then she was dancing of course doing like this over the do it like this let me put my hand where you see me do it like this over the the, the lady's the, head the, the lady's head like she did it the first time you know she did it the second time when she wanted to go the third time i think someone a guy you know ran grab his, her hand. and grab his hand sorry and grab her hand and i think that guy was actually maybe a photographer because from what i saw the 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 guy actually grabbed her hand but left her meaning that maybe she was actually obstructing his, his yes. uh, him, from, him from shooting or him from yes. snapping the two of them and getting the capture that he wants to get yeah because after the lady now went to the other side and, and was just looking, looking and wanted to start before the video was cut off you know yeah so i feel like maybe god used that photographer to help that girl because had it been she concluded the Called one round who know what would have happened exactly you know so i think that is that is maybe one of the reasons why some people you know tend to get into you know marriage and then they will be seeking for fruit of the womb for years you don't know that something has happened in your wedding and and all of that stuff you know yeah and 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 again there was one other one i saw again the lady that was actually doing this thing was the bride's auntie okay okay i think i saw that, that she was throwing her money with all <laughs> with angry face or something like that she was throwing her money and said she wanted to beat the lady or so oh no not that one tell me yours okay i think I've, I've seen another one the lady that was doing the wedding is her step mom so she came to throw her money so she was throwing her money as if she she was, she was always making some incantation when she was throwing that money she was like she was speaking in a word that people cannot hear yeah but i think that was incantation because she was just throwing that money on that girl's face on the lady's face so she was just speaking i think she was doing some incantation and she was just throwing the girl the money she was just trying to get the money and funny enough the cameraman just focused on her i know the reason why the cameraman focused on her because he is just a cameraman he's an invitee he cannot come and obstruct the marriage sure you get me so but or maybe the cameraman did not actually understand what was she was going doing. on there maybe he just Capturing her because, her because of the money she's the money. Train. Yeah, yeah. So that was what just happened. And guys, you know, it's not just marriage. You, it's not just going to marry that the main thing. Marriage is not what um actually happened that day. That you eat rice and chop cake. Mm. Marriage is after the after whole the thing. party. After the party, that is what is called marriage. Exactly. And some of these things that somebody give birth. Some of after marriage, after seventeen years, there's no children. Some of them are being cursed maybe from the marriage ceremony people do incantations maybe when they are spraying you money they are saying you see this marriage you no know, go last you see this marriage you no know, go born picking you see this marriage is not going to do oh that is when those things come from it's not even all gifts you're supposed to open by yourself i've opened a gift for my friend in maraba Nyanya. there's still i think it's lion tail inside the cup and it's sealed it's like teeth mm -hmm. yeah for life like teeth inside the cup Inside the cup of the tea. So, some of these things happen in marriage, and I feel like even though you're getting a gift from anybody in your marriage, don't open it by yourself. Make sure those gifts are being anointed, prayed for, sleep in the church before you take it to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be my dear sister. 
yeah. i've actually seen a particular one. Oh, hold on the one i wanted to say is actually the the lady's auntie you know she was dancing and then at the front of the bride you know she brought out what she brought out from her hand and then when she was dancing she now did as if she wanted to pass and then she now used the money to like rub on the, on the bride's stomach like that rub like three times and the lady did not actually understand of course you know when when you know everybody's dancing and you are not concentrating you will not eat actually Maybe you might not know that somebody has the actually... The wedding gown is not physically attached to your body. Yeah, so you will not feel it. Exactly. You will not feel it. You know, yeah. the, the wedding big. gown is very big, big. And there's always something inside, inside that will so. make you maybe not feel that somebody is rubbing your belly. So, there's that, that one, you know. And then, um, I, I heard that in that particular video, you know, I heard that the lady, you know, I don't give him bed for like two years. After two years, you know, after all of the prayer and all, then the the friend now went back to watching the video. The video. That was when the friend now saw that particular scene. Then the friend now took that particular scene and show her, you know, and show the bride, of yeah. course. And that was where when they now went to meet the auntie and show the auntie what was this? What were you doing? What were you doing? Yeah. You know? So the auntie, you know, already we'd already catch you. <laughs> so she now confessed, and then they now told her to redo what she did. That was when the the bride, you know, was able to to be pregnant and Again. have a baby after we said damaged years. Yeah, and have damaged years of two, three years. You know, and there's another one I've actually heard. You know, that you know the family. When they got married, fortunately, the husband, you know, got a job and then, you know, they built a house. When they built a house, they now call people to open the house. Do you understand? House yeah. opening, house opening. You have to pray for it, you know, for them to so, set their foot inside. Yes, this one was done by a guy. Then a guy now took something and buried in that compound. Do you understand? understand? That was how they stayed in that compound for 10 years without... Cry to a baby. It was when maybe I don't know how it was when they left that compound. They left the house. They now got that was when they now got pregnant and had baby. babies. They left the house to a rented apartment. I think you maybe, maybe maybe pastor must have told them to do so. Or something. Yeah, for you to sacrifice your house. Exactly. A lot of things happen like that. There's actually one I watched. That one was actually a long time ago a guy a man a man an old man you know that this lady was actually you know dancing with her husband that one was a child uh, marriage blessing so it was not actually a wedding it was marriage blessing because the lady has a baby already you understand and then this man you know came in and then he was praying them money he was praying them money and then the last money he now hold the money and did incantation like that after that he now did it on her like three times as if she's praying as if he is praying but he was not praying so he now did it on her like three times you understand i was saying something in his mouth like, but I want I want to ask something though. I wonder how people um tend to um not to see when people are rounding something on their head. Is it because of the music? It's because of the music. Leave her, Beverly. Leave her. Is it because of the music or what that you cannot you will not see hand crossing your head or turning on your head? I don't understand. Is it the music? It happens. The music, the distraction, the the excitement. The a, a lot of people being in the in the party at once might not actually make you kind of want, understand, understand what they are doing. what is going on in this other side. Do you understand? Something like that. Uh, I don't know. Not let, let me don't say something like that. I'd actually experienced such thing where someone brought an handkerchief and gave it to my husband to wipe his face on our wedding day. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And then I collected the handkerchief. And, you and dump it on the floor and then some other person picked, picked it. it you understand yeah. i was like why give my husband an handkerchief to wipe, wipe, his face. wipe his face you understand that was actually my reason of collecting it why give my husband an handkerchief when i have my own handkerchief i was holding i, I was holding two handkerchief 
in case of my, my makeup so i would actually tap and then the makeup will not you know <laughs> wear off yeah do you understand that was why i was holding two handkerchiefs and then i gave my husband one, one to use do you understand <coughs> after that because i noticed he was actually sweating a lot and that was why maybe the person brought that anki that anki no it's not okay for me i won't, I won't even use it because i remember when i wanted to my dream my traditional marriage i have to throw the pound wine on the floor because they say don't give it to your husband when i was dancing when i was looking for my husband an elderly woman came to me real life oh when i upload my video you see it an elderly woman came to me she said throw the wine you don't give it to your husband and then when i when i was getting close to my husband i wanted to drink it everyone now shouting no immediately i just it's not as if I want to drink it though. I just want to do it as if I drank it. Mm. Immediately I just pour the wine on the floor. So so many people have reasons for doing the things because for me I know I, I used to watch it on television. I know you have to taste the wine and give it to your husband. But when it's of my tongue, they said I shouldn't drink and I shouldn't give it to my husband. So getting close to him, when I wanted to bend down, I pour the wine on the floor. So they did not see. They did not people did not see it. Unless you have to come and look because you were sitting down. Yeah. But they did not know. Okay, but he now did as if he, he now did as if he drank the wine, so he now put money inside. So it's an old woman that said, "Don't give it to your husband." Like I've seen in movies like that, where you know, um, people bride actually you know take wine like that or whatever and give it to their husband, their husband. and that will be the end of that, probably man or maybe the no marriage man. and all of that stuff. You my know. my own case, I was just dancing. I was looking for my husband, a woman from the Umuada. She's very old. She looked like ninety years old woman. She just walk, walk, walk. Same name, in Nenia, meaning don't give your husband to drink. I was kind of confused because you know now, getting close, my mom was just giving me eye, but I don't still understand. That is, uh, I don't still understand. But that woman told me, don't give your husband. At first, I never wanted to put it in my mouth too, but I just want to do as if I drank the wine. But people were now shouting, so immediately I broke down and then I poured the wine out and then I gave my husband the cup and he did as if he drank the wine and then he put money inside. So people are very, very mean. For that kind of old woman to tell me not to drink and give my husband, then there's something she saw that you don't see. Exactly. Or maybe there's something she has actually seen in the past. Yes. That probably she needs to advise you to, you know, stay away from. Um, I want to say something, eh? I think the new rules of not spraying the bright money on the face is actually the best. If you can actually have an envelope, put it inside the envelope, drop it on the floor. Or when the brides are dancing, just be dropping the money on the floor. The be, though you mustn't necessarily touch the person. So when you bring the money, they'll just be slapping Slap the person. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so, that, so, so, so you see that they're that spraying, spraying you. money. So you must not necessarily slap that person the money, okay? And for the gifts, when they give you gifts, allow the gift to sleep in the church. My baby is already crying. Or don't open those gifts yourself. Be cool. Don't open it yourself because there are a lot of evil things. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. <laughs> okay? It's better than the angel you, better than you don't know. The angel you don't know. <laughs> so yes, my baby is already crying. Yeah. But we have a lot to talk about. Okay? So she will give you the full gist in her channel. Okay? Anyway, you can actually go up, go over to her channel and watch more. Okay guys, before Sophie actually scattered this whole place for us, let us go. <laughs> Drop your comments at the comment section Thanks, if you have uh, um, some experiences to share so Let's that continue. people would actually learn, okay? Yeah. And Thank you guys for having me in your channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here too. Thank Love you. you. Bye guys. Bye -bye. Take care. Yeah. Bye. And be very watchful. Sure you are. Exactly. <laughs>